Hi Pisces, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina and today we're going to get you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want you to know. Before I get started, I always send out some healing, so take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right, Pisces, here we go. Let's get some cards. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, The Lovers, The High Priestess, The Eight of Swords, uh, Pisces, um, uh, looks really good for you. Like, what's going on here? We got some kind of new beginning here that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Could be a new lover. Could be some excitement. Uh, sometimes the lovers can represent a choice between two. So if that's the case, um, which I think it might be in your case here because you have the High Priestess which is and the Eight of Swords. The High Priestess is trust your intuition. And the Eight of Swords is, I'm worried about this choice. I'm worried about what's going on. So, I don't know. I kind of feel like, Pisces, you might be getting some kind of new love come in. A new lover. New love. Um, but maybe you already have. Maybe you already have somebody. I don't know, but I think you're going to be really happy, Pisces. I think this is an exciting time for you. I think... Something wonderful is happening for you, and I think this is just saying, you know, trust your intuition, follow your heart. I know you're worried about it, but I think you're making it out to be a lot worse than it actually is. Maybe you're overly concerned about somebody else's feelings instead of your own. I think you got to trust your gut and trust how you feel. If there's somebody new coming in that excites you and lights you up and it feels good, then you got to do what's right for you. Ten of Cups is happiness. All ten of your cups being filled. Ace of Pentacles is something new. And then you got the lover. So it leads me to believe that there's somebody new coming in that's uh, going to make you start questioning things. But in a good way. In a good way because we all want to feel good, right? So uh, tap into that intuition of yours. Follow your heart's desire, and you'll make the right decision for you. You will. But it, it looks exciting, and it looks fun, and it looks like you're getting love or new love. Wow, I've got chills. I've got chills. It's exciting. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn. Conflict and defeat. Oh, you got five of swords, though. Which kind of makes sense. But let me get the other card. Ah, you got chariot. Okay. So listen to this. I think my I think my story is spot on, to be honest with you. I think you have a new love coming in. And this is going to cause conflict with somebody you are already in a relationship with. Or already talking to or something. I think some... I, I think you have some... A tough decision to make. I do. But you know what? Pisces... You're going to be very successful. Because why? That's the chariot. And the chariot is success after a hard time. Or, you know, navigating something very carefully. Um, but it's a, it's a success. It's a victory. You just got to keep things, you know, in balance. You got to be careful. Like I said, you got to navigate something carefully. But uh, if you do, it's going to pay off for you. But I do think somebody's going to be unhappy. I do think somebody's going to be unhappy. I don't think it's you, but I think somebody's going to be upset with you. Either that, or this is you're fighting with somebody. And something new is coming in for you, and it's going to make you happy. So you're, like, you're not going to be fighting anymore. Trust your intuition. You'll know what to do. You will feel it. Go with how you feel. Alright, this is your life, your experience. Nobody wants to go through life in conflict. Nobody wants to be miserable. So do what makes you happy. Do what's right for you. 
I think you got a lot of happiness coming in. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. This is what you're doing, Pisces. I think you have a chance to rewrite your future right now. To break the chain, break free from something that's holding you back. You get to rewrite your future. What's it going to look like? How's it going to make you feel? You want it to make you feel great, amazing. So you got to follow your heart's desire here. Holiday. The answers you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. So are you going on vacation? Are you getting away? Even if it's only for a day or two, a weekend, I think you're going to get some clarity. I think you're going to know what to do or that that could possibly be where you're meeting your, your new love here um, where, when you're away. But I definitely think that something's going to happen. And it, it, at the very least, it's you getting an idea in your head or you getting some clarity in your head, knowing what you should do and knowing, getting your epiphany, trusting your intuition. It's going to make sense to you. Maybe when you're like away, like I said, when you're on vacation or even if you had to take a personal day, you know, just a mental health day to go do you, I think you might be getting some clarity. Like say, say you take the day off of work and you go get yourself a massage because you just are stressed. While you're getting your massage, you're going to get your answer. If you're, you know, if you're not going on vacation or whatever could be something as simple as that or why you're just sitting drinking your coffee just kind of not really doing anything but these thoughts are coming in your head and you'll know what to do so the answers are coming and I think you're going to be really happy non-duality let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine you can become fluid at doing both. So this is saying that you have to trust your inner self. Okay, so you got to do what's right for you on the outside, but you also have to do what's right for you on the inside. So it's about a balance again, balancing your feelings, doing what's right, like the best of both worlds. Okay, finding a balance. Which decision, which choice, would be the best of both worlds, would be the better option for you. You know, following your heart and following your head. I think that's what you've got to kind of balance out there. I, I personally would lean more towards my heart than my head. So if you, you know, if you, you can't figure the two out, which one's going to be more beneficial for you? I would definitely lean towards the heart. You want to feel good. You don't want to be miserable. Sometimes when we go with our head and we, we think this would be the best move, we end up miserable. We end up unhappy. Because it's not what our heart wanted. The heart's more important than the head. So... Getting to know each other. I think you're getting to know somebody new. I think somebody new is coming in. I think somebody new is coming in to sweep you off your feet. And it's going to leave you a little confused. I think it's going to cause some conflict in your current relationship. But I think you need to, I think you need to go for new. Sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. So you know what this is saying? This is saying this person can't hurt you. They can't hurt you because you have your shield. You are protected. Their arrows are not going to penetrate your shield. They can't hurt you. Only you have the power to hurt you. Go with your heart. Garden of Venus. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this card is. Rest and renewal. I th I, look, renewal. That's what I'm getting from that. Not necessarily the rest. Or The rest could be you're getting a break from this conflict. You're getting a break from this person. And you're renewing your life. You're having a renewal. You are rewriting the future. 
You're having a new beginning. I think that's the way you need to go. New. Let the old go. The old's holding you back in some way. You know, the old might be a smart decision, but it's not what your heart wants. Go with your heart. Life's too short not to. Spirit of spring. Freedom, action, power. Spring. Renewal. Expansion. Bursting back to life. I think you are bursting back to life. I think somebody's going to light that spark inside of you. You're going to feel good again. You're going to feel uh, excited, maybe wanted, desired. You're going to feel that mojo again. I think somebody's coming in to light you up, to, to bring your passion back. I'm just saying, Pisces, if I were you, that's what I would want. I want somebody to come in and light my fire to make me feel good again, to make me feel young again, or to make me feel desired again. I want that. That's what I would want. Whoever's the, uh, I, whoever's making you feel conflicted, time to let them go. <laughs> Don't hold on to any conflict. This is my new philosophy in life. If it doesn't feel good, it's not worth it. You've got to choose what feels good in the moment for you. Live your life for you and live each moment happy. Let's pull you some charms. It means you're coming into alignment. It means you're starting to, to get your energy back. Your energy is starting to flow again. I think somebody's coming in to like really light you up to give you your spark back to make you feel alive again and again don't worry you will be protected you got the jaguar spirit the jaguars are very protective they'll protect you love you got new love you got new love you need to explore it. You have a new life coming in. It's a new chapter of your life. You got the broom. Out with the old, in with the new. Sweep out that old. You got the flag. Freedom. You're freeing yourself. You're getting this light bulb moment, this epiphany. You're going to know. You're going to know how you feel and what to do. You are. It's going to make you feel like a kid again. And you're going to feel like all inspired and excited and there's going to be love here and abundance your angels have got you they do Pisces they've got you so Pisces you got to do what's right for you but if it's for me I'm following my heart I, I want this excitement I want somebody who lights me up this is what I'm going for the new Forget about this. Whoever's, whoever you're conflicted about or with, let that go. Let's feel good. Let's feel good. <laughs> All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.